Okay, so this is question seven, and we have to calculate the Thevenin equivalent circuit uh, between some terminals. So we have terminal A, B, and C. And for part one, we have to calculate the Thevenin, Thevenin equivalent circuit between nodes A and B, part two, B and C, and part three, A and C. Okay, so I want you to remember that to calculate the Thevenin resistance, we have to turn off the voltage, the, the, in the, the independent voltage sources or current sources. In this case, we only have a single uh, voltage source of four volts. And in order to turn that off, we just insert a short circuit. Okay, so it becomes a short circuit here. Now, if you look at the circuit with this short circuit, between terminals A and B, if we want to look, so we basically want to see for part one. So let's, for part one, okay. Then we have part two, and then here part three. So let's calculate the Thevenin resistance for each one of those uh, parts. So for part one, we want to know what's the res Thevenin resistance seen from these terminals. Now, if we ignore terminal C now, you see that this 2K here is in series with this 12K, right? So we just have to add them and they become 14K. So in this case, the Thevenin resistance is just the parallel between the 14K and the 8K. So this is equals to 8K times 14K divided by 8K plus 14k okay and this gives us a Thevenin resistance that's equals to 5.091 kilo ohms for part b um, we have to analyze what's the Thevenin resistance seen from these terminals b and c so now from these two terminals he's ignoring the terminal a we see that 8K is in series with 2K, right? And then the Thevenin resistance seen from B and C is just a parallel between 12K, this 12K here, and the 10K in series there. So let me just erase this one here and put it more to the right. So the Thevenin's resistance in this case is going to be equals to that 10K in series times the 12k divided by 10k plus 12k. This gives us a Thevenin resistance that is equals to 5.4545k ohm. Okay, so those are the two results. Now, for the third part, still on the Thevenin resistance, Basically, we then have the resistance seen, so we just ignore B here, and then we see the resistance seen between the terminals A and C. So in this case, the 8K here and 12K here are in series, right? And then that uh, 20K is in parallel with this, 12, this 2K here. So for the third part, we have, let's just, so we have the Thevenin resistance equals to that 20K, which is the series of 12 with 8K, times the 2K divided by 20K plus 2K. Okay, and that's the, that's equals to, so let me see here, 1.81, to kilo ohms now for the open circuit voltage which is the Thevenin voltage we have to insert back the voltage source here right and then we have to calculate what's the so for the first case, what's the open circuit voltage seen from these terminals here? So this is the first VTH. Then for the second part, we have to calculate what's the open circuit voltage VTH here. And for the third case, what's the open circuit voltage seen between terminals A and C? 
okay? So for the first case, VTH corresponds to the same voltage applied to this 8K here. For the second case, it's the same as the voltage applied to this 12K. And for the third case, it's the same as the voltage applied between the series of 8K and 12K here, right? So let's start calculating. So let me go down here and let me redraw the circuit. So for the first case, for the first part, so the circuit becomes, let me just draw the circuit because it's just the same. So we have here, then we have 2K here, right? We have here, here. So this is 12K, this is 8K. Right, and here we have A, here we have B, here we have C. This is 4 volts, right? So remember, VTH for the first case is this one here. For the second case is this one here. Sorry, it should be red, right? So VTH here, which is just this one, this one, and then between A and C, which is the voltage across 8 and 12k, like the series between 8 and 8k and 12k. So for the first part, VTH is equals to, so we have the 4 volts, right, times, so because we can use like a, a voltage divider, Right, because it's just like a, a, a series between resistors. So because we want to calculate the voltage across this 8K here, so we multiply by 8K, and then we divide by 8, 8K plus something. So what is this something, right? So is this 12K, right? Plus that 2K there, because they are kind of in series. So it, it doesn't matter if it's be, before the voltage source or after the voltage source. But the thing is that if we go from this node here all the way up to this node here, we are passing we are passing through this 2K and that 12K. So it means that they are in series, right? So if they're in series, we just, uh, sorry, we just calculate we just calculate the the series of those resistors. So plus that 14K. And this gives us a, a VTH that's equals to 1.45 volts, okay? For the second part, we are basically calculating now for the 12K volt, for the 12K ohm uh, resistor. So this is the same as, so in this case, VTH using a voltage divider again is the same four times now the 12K and then divide by 12K. Now 8K is in series with 2K. So in this case, we add them and they become this 10K. So VTH is equals in this case to 2.18 volts, okay? Now, for the third part, we can still apply a voltage divider, but now it's going to be the voltage across the series of 8K here plus the 12K here, right? So the voltage, the Thevenin voltage in this case, is equals to that 4 volts times the 8K plus the 12K, so it's 20K divided by 20k plus the 2k up there right so it is plus 2k here and this gives us a Thevenin voltage that's equals to 3.63 volts okay so that's it for this problem and i want you to see that because we have so in this first case we have a the voltage across 8k it's lower, it's, it's less than like, it's less than half of that voltage, which makes sense because we have 
uh, more voltage being uh, dropped across the 2k plus the 12k right in the second case we have just 12k which is more than 10k so it's um, more than half of the four volts right so it's 2.18 and on the third case is the voltage applied through the 8k in series of 12k which is 20k which is 10 times higher than 2k that we have up there so in that case we almost we, we kind of have almost of the voltage most part of the voltage being dropped across the 8k and 12k which is 3.63 Right, so basically those values they make sense of uh, they make sense with the circuit that we are basically analyzing in each one of the parts. Okay.